This is the Star Wars The Black Series from Star Wars The Mandalorian. We have the Death Watch Mandalorian. Easily the most sought after figure in the wave after Ahsoka Tano. Man, this figure looks amazing. And here is the Death Watch Mandalorian out of packaging. And boy, did this figure turn out great. It absolutely is one of those spectacular figures that you never think was gonna look great once you see it on packaging. I don't know, it could just be me. I'm probably weird, but when I saw this in packaging, I thought, oh, a bunch of recycled parts. This figure is gonna be mediocre at best. Didn't really expect much from it, but boy oh boy was I wrong. I opened him up, I could not stop posing him. I could not stop playing with this figure. So the figure comes with several accessories. He's got his jet pack. Uh, some of the pieces are soft PVC. The, the main backpack is some harder plastic. It, at first glance, I thought they recycled it, but it doesn't seem to be the case because this is the Mando's backpack and it really is different. It's definitely different from Boba Fett because Boba Fett had the longer missile and the, the thrusters were spread out further. So it looks to be a brand new backpack. Somebody let me know if they've recycled this. He's got this really nice blaster rifle with a scope, two handles, uh, it's made of softer plastic, which is really a shame. The only benefit that I see with using softer plastic is you can easily put it in his hand without stressing too much the the fist or the trigger or the gripping fist. So yeah, it, it it's soft, but you know it'll hold it'll hold its form and shape. So yeah, just don't don't expose it to heat as much. And then we've got the Mandalorian pistol. This one's a little bit harder plastic. The figure does come with a holster for the pistol. You can squeeze that blaster in and then lock it in. Head sculpt, fantastic. I think it's a brand new sculpt because the, the jawline of the head sculpt is incorporated. It's not a separate piece uh, from the helmet. And what's nice about this new helmet is, look at this, the scope actually goes down <laughs> I thought this was incredible. Uh, and also you will note that the this bit of plastic that they used for the scope or the targeting array is made of slightly harder plastic. It's actually a lot harder than the gun. So it'll hold, it's not gonna lean left or right when, if the temperature goes up. It's, it's, it's a pretty rock solid, uh, targeting array you can fold it that way you know it doesn't bend as much i like it i, I like the fact that they did that that, that is fan service now he's got some shoulder pads which this is what hasbro has been doing with their black series figures and marvel legends that the ring is already attached to the hinge on the shoulder so that the shoulder pad will follow and it's a separate piece he's got some really nice molded gauntlets right here as well as the fists, a separate uh, pistol belt. Uh, this one's glued on, I guess. Some armor plating right here, which are separate pieces, which are not part of the leg, which is very interesting. Uh, made of softer uh, PVC material, just like this one. It's got some knee pads and some boots. The upper torso, I did notice, seems to be molded from the same soft uh, PVC plastic that they've used for the armor plating. So that is interesting. I don't know if it's a combination of something solid inside and then this one's soft PVC. Articulation for the figure, the neck is on a ball joint up top and there's a ball joint at the bottom. Upper torso is on a ball joint. Shoulders can go in and out, forward and backward. You got ball hinge elbows. Wrists, they swivel, and this one goes up and down. This one goes in and out. The hips do the splits. You go forward and backward. You got a thigh swivel. Single hinge knee has a swivel as well. No calf swivel. Feet can go up and down and have the rocker tilt. Pain apps for the figure, not too bad. Not too bad. There's a ton of white pain apps but they nailed it with this one. Hardly any quality issues, if at all. 
if I'm going to nitpick, you got to check the black paint that they used for the helmet. Make sure that it is a cleanly painted visor and no smudging here and there. But this one, I got lucky. Some comparisons here is the Death Watch Mandalorian with Boba Fett from Empire Strikes Back and the Mandalorian. Look at the arms and the gauntlets. They do appear similar, but they're not. Uh, the the plates on the back of his hand are much smaller than uh, than Din's. And uh, the fingers in general are much thinner on this new mold than, than this one. Also, the plating, you can see it's slightly different. He's got bigger armor plates on his thighs, but very similar uh, looking to, to his plates. The chest, obviously different. I thought the knee guards were, the, were with the knee rockets. I thought they were a rehash and repaint of Boba Fett's, but they're not. You can clearly see that it's a completely new mold. Boots are new, the helmets are new. It's an entirely new mold, I think. From where I'm standing, I honestly cannot see any recycled bits and pieces here and there. Some final thoughts on this Black Series Death Watch Mandalorian figure. Absolutely blown away with it. The figure is going to get a 10 out of 10. I did not expect this figure to look this great. So happy that we have completely new parts. Almost, I think, I believe, an entirely new uh, figure mold for the Black Series. I absolutely love this figure. Easily my second favorite after Ahsoka Tano. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new Black Series Death Watch Mandalorian. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.